She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Narina. Hi! Get comfy, you guys. Get super comfy because today I'm gonna be answering your most frequently asked questions about my hair. So let's get started. What do you ask at the hair salon? Honey. <laughs> never ask anything at the hair salon because I've actually never been to the hair salon so I have no idea what to ask when I need to get my hair cut I actually ask either my dad or my sister if they're around I don't know I don't really have a haircut it's just this is just it <laughs> this is it is this your natural hair color yes it is uh, I've never dyed it it's not black it's actually dark brown and it has a reddish shine reddish finish so uh yay <laughs> what's next do you know what it is your hair type? I believe my hair type is 1B. I've been using Shea Moisture for a while now. If you guys want to sponsor me, hi, it's me. And on their website, they have a quiz where you can get to select your hair type. And based on your hair type, you have like the products that match with it. So I've tried the quiz and I believe I'm actually a 1B, which is like normal hair texture. So it's not like thin hair, but it's not like super coarse. So I'm going to link it down below so that you guys can actually check it out. How often? do you wash your hair do you have any tips I wash my hair two to three times a week because this is what works best for me everybody has like a different routine how to keep healthy uh, first of all I believe that I eat healthy which means that I eat the good fat the good nutrients because you are what you eat so your hair is what you eat I try to eat a lot of fatty acids a lot of veggies because uh, I know it's super good and I use products that have a lot of natural organic uh, components a lot of plants, a lot of uh, natural oils, and not a lot of additional stuff that is super scary. I lose my hair. Do you lose your hair? How can you prevent? I do lose my hair a lot. You guys, I feel like I vacuum like at least once a day because I lose my hair so much. You guys need to know that it's totally natural and I have to tell you when you're over 25, you start losing your hair, your hair is not growing as fast as back when you were a teenager and it's totally normal. So first acknowledge that because you're not like some scary person that keeps on like losing hair. How to prevent it, I believe. I actually get um, supplements, so I have brewer's yeast, I have I think biotin to grow my nails and my hair. I would say also be mindful of what you put on your hair, all the products that you're using. What I do to prevent hair loss is to actually brush with like bamboo common bamboo brush and I think it has helped a lot I like bamboo brushes this one is actually uh, by the body shops so I'll be linking that as well next question how is your hair so shiny I believe that my hair is kind of naturally shiny especially the second day on the second day <clears throat> You will turn blind from like how shiny my hair is. I use a smooth and shine air oil with argan oil. I'm gonna be showing this to you guys a little bit later, but I think this helps a lot. Do you use any heating tools? Rarely do. Maybe once a month, to be honest, like blow dry. And I use my GHD because it's the best thing I've ever had. If you're the type of person that use curly tools, straightening tools, please use a heat protecting spray because it's literally sunscreen for your hair. So don't skip that step because this is everything. Did you ever have short hair? The fight short. I did have short hair growing up obviously and I think I had short hair twice in my life. When I was around 15 to 16 and then back when I was 21 to 22 and to be honest I regretted it and I missed my long hair so much so I'm probably not gonna go back to short and when I say short I say booby length not crazy short. Never done that. Your go-to hairstyle, yes. So basically, I'm just gonna do a bun and I'm gonna secure it with a hair clip. That, and I can even work out like that. It's kind of like my go-to early 2000 vibes slash inspired by my mom. Love it. How do you sleep with your hair help? I put my hair like March Simpson, like above my, my head on my pillow. Cause if I'm rolling or if I'm moving in the bed, I'm not rolling on my hair and I'm not breaking even more hair. So I think it's super good. And also one tip that I have is that I change my pillowcases every two days. All the oils and the bacteria they have in your face and on your hair goes onto the pillowcase and then you're rolling over, it goes back to your hair, back to your face. And I feel like changing the pillowcase is like very good 
for my hair and it's also good for my face because it prevents breakouts so i would suggest that <laughs> what else did you try curly or not yes i did try curl when i was a teenager it was bad because my hair is so straight that it doesn't hold the curls barely hold like one or two hours i feel like it's damaging too much so i prefer it like that i let my hair free kind of and i will be trying heatless curls because i've seen like a video on tiktok y'all <laughs> you're not ready what would your mom do if you cut your hair short <laughs> she'd be mad She'd be super mad because uh, in my culture, in like Madagascar, a woman with long hair is independent. She knows how to take care of herself. She doesn't rely on anyone. My grandma had super long hair to her ankles. My mom has long hair. My sister has long hair. I have long hair. And I'm probably not gonna cut, not because of tradition, but because I like it like that. Which product do you use? Regular wash, hair treatments, and leave-in product to hydrate to have a shiny hair all day. So regular wash, I use Yves Rocher Repair shampoos I add a little bit of essential oil tea tree essential oil to prevent my dandruffs and I use their repair conditioner it's like organic sulfate free as hair treatments I have oop, my Swedish oil that I'll be linking that from Bjorn Axen mousse and shine I also have Maui moisture they have like coconut uh, spray especially for like my uh, split hands so I really like that what else do I have? I also have a little product from Aromazon, which is like a do-it-yourself. And it's mostly a hair mask for my split ends as well. And it has grapefruit, essential oil, and vitamin E. So it's super nice. I feel like I forgot something. No, I think it's all good. Biggest hair insecurity, please share. I was always happy with my hair, to be honest. I always loved my hair. A lot of people around me when I was growing up pressure me into cutting my hair or coloring my hair. And it used to make me feel so insecure. Like now I'm much better. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with my hair. Um, another insecurity that actually helps with my long hair is that I have hyperpigmentation on my back, which means that during summertime you would see it more and I have like a bunch of stains on my back. So I keep my hair long to kind of hide. But yeah, we all have insecurities. We just learn how to deal with it. Do you do oil bath? If yes, how? How do you do it? Yes, I do coconut oil and almond oil. 100% natural, no weird thingies inside. So I put a large amount on my hands. I just uh, massage my scalp and I do like all of my hair from the roots to the end. I use to secure my hair and prevent it from staining my clothes. I use either a shower cap or a hair clip and I'm gonna like keep it rolled. And I wait from like 15 minutes to two hours and then I'm gonna be uh, shampooing twice to make sure I remove all the product. What else? How do you wash your hair and work out every day? That doesn't really bother me to be honest, it doesn't. So I wash every three days, I think. Every two to three days, basically. And sometimes if it's really problematic, I'm gonna be using dry shampoo. And I know that for a lot of women, we're told that greasy hair, oily hair is gross and it's nasty. It's actually healthy. So like you have to like rewire your brain to think like that. When really it bothers, I'm just gonna be using dry shampoo and I use Batiste as dry shampoo. What else? Ooh, okay. Already at like the very last question, you guys. That went fast. The last question is, what is your number one rule? I actually have three. I have don't touch it. Don't let people touch your hair. Cause when I was growing up, a lot of people be like, oh my God, can I touch your hair? It's so shiny. And I was like, okay. Now as an adult, I don't let anyone touch my hair, to be honest. Because also, who would do that? How weird are you? And the third one is always make sure that you have clean hands if you ever need to touch your hair, but clean hands at all times because it's super important. Because sometimes you don't even realize that you're going to be like that. And sometimes I am like that, like I kind of want to do that, so... Yep. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good time. I hope I answered most of your questions. Subscribe, comment, and like down below. If you have any more questions, additional questions, maybe I'm gonna be doing a part two, three, 20, who knows? So yeah, thank you so much for joining you guys. <laughs> and I hope I will see you soon. I'm gonna be linking in the description box all the products that I use so that you guys have everything you need. And um, yay. Bye. To see her, there must be something that features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. Yeah.